Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll study an important topic that is most micrographic surgery. This is a very important topic in the CPT integumentary system. In this video, we'll study guidelines and also practice solving questions related to this topic. Let us start. What is most micrographic surgery? Most micrographic surgery is a technique for the removal of complex or ill-defined skin cancer with histologic examination of 100% of the surgical margins. Another important thing to remember is what is a tissue block in most surgery? So here they have given the definition that is in your CPT manual page number 111. You can find the paragraph under most micrographic surgery. So, a tissue block in most surgery is defined as an individual tissue piece embedded in a mounting medium for sectioning. Highlight this. Let us check the guidelines. The first guideline is, in most surgery, if repair is performed, we have to coat it separately. Second guideline, if biopsy repair, skin graft, special staining, frozen section is performed, we have to code that also separately. To code most micrographic surgery codes, we have to check three things. So, this is very important. First is the anatomic site. So, you have to check the anatomic site on which most micrographic surgery is being performed. So, the code 17311 is for Anatomic sites, head, neck, hands, feet, genitalia or any location with surgery directly involving muscle, cartilage, bone, tendon, major nerves or vessels. And 17313 is for the anatomical sites, trunk, arms or legs. So you will use these two codes 17311 and 17313 based on the anatomical location. Next is number of tissue blocks. So, the code 17311 is for the anatomical locations which we checked just now. It is for up to 5 tissue blocks and the code 17313 is for the respective anatomical locations mentioned and that is for 5 tissue blocks. Then how to code additional tissue blocks? For additional tissue blocks, we have to use the code 17315. That is for each additional tissue block after the first 5 tissue blocks. And the third thing is number of stages. So the code 17311 is for the first stage and 17312 is for each additional stage after the first stage. Okay, so the code 17312 is an add-on code. You will use it for each additional stage only. And 17312 should be used with 17311. And next, 17314 is an add-on code for each additional stage after the first stage. This code you will use with 17313. And remember the add-on code 17315 that is for each additional tissue block after the first 5 tissue blocks. This code can be used with 17311 to 17314 that is you can use it with 17311, 312, 313 and 314. Let us solve some questions related to most micrographic surgery for you to understand better. First question. Dr. Alexis completed most surgery on Ralph's left arm. She reported routine stains on all slides, mapping and color coding of the specimens. The procedure was accomplished in three stages with the total of seven blocks in the second stage. So as per the guideline, we have to check the anatomical location first. So the anatomical location is Ralph's left arm. Um. So, I mentioned that there are two codes to check the anatomical location that is 17311 and 17313. In option A, B, C and D, you can see they have mentioned 17313, 17311, 17313 and 17311. So, between these two codes, we have to check the right code based on the anatomic location. So, in this scenario, the anatomical location is arm. Um. So, which code we have to use? We have to use 17313 because that is for most micrographic technique, anatomic location, trunk, arms or legs. So, without wasting much time, we can eliminate the code 17311 because the anatomical location is not matching. So, eliminate option B and option D. 
Now we are left with option A and option D. Now we have to code based on the number of stages and number of tissue blocks. So here they have mentioned the procedure was accomplished in three stages. So there are three stages and total of seven blocks. So there are seven blocks. So how to code this? The code 17313 is for first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. So first let us code based on the stage. So since there are 3 stages we are using 17313 for the first stage and for each additional stage after the first stage we have to use the add-on code 17314. Okay. So since there are 3 stages, the first stage is coded with 17313 and remaining 2 stages we have to code with 17314 that is we have to multiply it twice. Now we have to also code for number of blocks. So here they have mentioned 7 tissue blocks, right. The code 17313 is for first stage up to 5 tissue blocks. So it includes 5 tissue blocks. Okay, now we have two tissue blocks remaining because here there are seven tissue blocks. First five we coded with 17313. Now two are remaining. For this two tissue blocks, we have to use the code 17315, which is an add on code for each additional tissue block after first five tissue blocks. And we can use 17315 with 17311 to 17314. So since there are two tissue blocks remaining, we are using the code. 17315 multiplied twice. Okay. So total it will be 7 tissue blocks. I hope you are clear with it. So in option C the codes are 17313, 17314 multiplied twice and 17315 multiplied twice which we coded. Therefore the right answer is option C. In option A, you can see they have mentioned the last code 88314 that is for histochemical stain on frozen tissue block. But in the scenario, anywhere they have not mentioned frozen section pathology, right? So we cannot code 88314 and also the other codes are wrong. So we'll eliminate option A. Let us solve another question. Before solving this question, don't forget to show your support to my channel by liking, sharing and subscribing to CodeMate Mastery for more tips and tricks to clear your CPC exam in the first attempt. Read the question. Most surgery will be performed on a 53-year-old that has basal cell carcinoma on the neck. The gross tumor was completely excised. Tissue was divided into two tissue blocks and were mapped and color-coded at their margins. Frozen sectioning was performed. A full thickness graft was used to harvest skin from patient's left axilla for an area of 5 square centimeter. So what are the appropriate CPT codes? Check option A 26115 that is for excision tumor or vascular malformation, soft tissue of hand or finger, subcutaneous less than 1.5 centimeter. But in this scenario they have mentioned most surgery. Okay, so we have to use only most surgery codes. We cannot use the code 26115 that is excision tumor or vascular malformation. We have to use most surgery codes. So eliminate option A directly. Coming to option B 11600 first code that is for excision malignant lesion including margin trunk arm or legs and the excise diameter size is 0.5 cm or less. But this code is for malignant lesion excision. Okay. Though they have mentioned basal cell carcinoma, we cannot use the code for lesion excision. Since most surgery is mentioned, we have to use most surgery codes only. So directly eliminate option B. Now we are left with option C and option D. 17311 and 17313 are most surgery codes, right? So we have to code based on the anatomic location. So here the anatomic location is neck, right? The code 17311 is for most micrographic technique, anatomic location is head, neck, hands, feet, etc. So in that neck is mentioned. So the appropriate code is 17311. 
नॉट वन सेवन थ्री वन थ्री सो एलिमिनेट ऑप्शन डी ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर एंड द सेकेंड कोड इन ऑप्शन सी वन फाइव टू फोर जीरो इज फॉर फुल थिकनेस ग्राफ्ट इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव मैंशन फुल थिकनेस ग्राफ्ट वॉज यूज टू हार्वेस्ट स्किन फ्रॉम पेशेंट्स लेफ्ट एक्जिला सो वी आर यूजिंग द कोड वन फाइव टू फोर जीरो दैट इज फॉर फुल थिकनेस ग्राफ्ट इंक्लूडिंग डायरेक्ट क्लोजर ऑफ डोनर साइट द एनाटोमिक लोकेशन इज एक्जिला एंड द साइज इज फाइव स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर एंड द कोड वन फाइव टू फोर जीरो इज फॉर ट्वेंटी स्क्वायर सेंटीमीटर और लेस सो वी आर यूजिंग द कोड वन फाइव टू फोर जीरो ऑप्शन सी इज द राइट आंसर थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग स्टेट यून फॉर मोर इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू सी पी सी एग्जाम एंड मेडिकल कोडिंग